Welcome back to Every Way Woman. So we're talking social media, and I want to have a discussion on what Facebook can do on your body image. And I see you working out on Facebook all the time, oh, Felicia. Oh, yeah. Got to work that sweat off. <laughs> yeah. But I do find it motivating. I'm not going to lie. It makes me feel a little bad about myself. Really? Are you kidding? Why? Why yeah. do you feel bad about seeing her work out on Facebook? Well, no, just in general, I think a lot of times it's easy to compare yourself to this idealized version of your friends or you know the people you're following, and it can really have a negative start to my day. Oh. I stopped even looking at it before I got out of bed because I thought, you know what, I'm going to start my day me and not compare myself to anybody else. But I think a lot of women are dealing with the same thing. Am I am I wrong? I mean, what I will say is that I think it's I like being on Facebook because I like seeing what all of my friends are up to, all of the great things they're doing, traveling the world, and even if someone looks better than I do. It's like mo motivation for me to get my butt in the gym tomorrow or that morning, you know? And then if they're doing like new beauty, you know, they have a new hairdo or makeup or something, it's like inspiring to me. <laughs> yes. I'm like, oh, I want to try that pink lipstick in. Like, tell me about it, you know? Well, the first thing that pops into my head is uh, regarding body image. Sometimes I don't even believe what I see, even on Facebook. Mm -hmm. A lot of things are Photoshop, guys. Like, you know? It's true. Right. Everybody can Photoshop and filter. And look good. Mm -hmm. and, okay. You know, Take away through a little transfer mark here. XX Pro, I look a lot better. <laughs> I'm, tan, I'm a lot thinner, but I can I can relate to you a little bit. I mean, I think depending, like when I was younger, I probably would have looked at that like threatening. You know, looking at pictures of models of you know. Well, and what's interesting, it's not even Vogue anymore or mm -hmm. any of these other high fashion magazines. It's like looking at these hot friends from high school, you know, what happened to their bodies mm -hmm. and what they've got going on that you might not have. I totally have this deer in the headlight look. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just, you're just like <laughs> Because I'm, I'm struggling with, I don't do a lot with Facebook. I know I should. I do it for the show, uh, but for the body image for my daughters, I just think that it's, well, truth be told, my daughters don't do Facebook because they said that's so, so passe. It's Instagram. <laughs> but the, the pictures are still the okay, same thing. sure. And they say most of the time that those pictures are not real. People have Photoshopped them. They'll put somebody else up that is not them, so kind of like that catfish thing. So you feel like the next thing, so, generation yeah. is very aware of, you know, how faux these things can be? I, yes, exactly. And I think that they just put it up for the moment. So for someone to feel insecure about that, I don't, I don't know, because I don't think it's really true half the time. I could be wrong. But I don't, I don't think it's really true. I mean, true. I have met a lot of girls that I follow on Instagram, and they're beautiful. They have, this one girl has, like, 200K followers because all she takes is selfies because of Everybody, her hair. Everybody, huh? Right? You know she what's interesting, though, it, on that note, is that I've seen a lot of girls with eating disorders on Facebook, on Instagram. They're hashtagging pro-Anna, Anna, they call it, the pro-anorexic websites, oh bulimic actors, hashtag bikini bridge, where it's literally you know, the bridge but over your hip bones on a bikini. Oh, no. Are they? That's dangerous. That's, and, okay, so let's ridiculous. follow with that. Are they posting actual pictures of what they look actual like? Actual pictures of what mm -hmm. they look like to inspire these and other girls. girls and instead it's feeding into literally eating disorders. Are they getting a lot of disorders. followers? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Are absolutely. They getting support? Absolutely. Millions and millions of girls. It's Young the, kids think it's cool. It, I mean, think it's hot. Well, in think college, it's my college best one of my college best friends was anorexic because of who she was following on Facebook. She's like, look at this model. She, you know, says that she barely eats a salad a day and she'll have a granola bar a day and that's it. And then she started doing the same thing. And I'm There's like, a very you famous. are kind of dumb for doing that. <laughs> so <laughs> it's the society we live in. I think. I mean, they. I mean, we have to be careful. I think with our kids. I don't have kids, but I know if I had a kid. I would be very hesitant in getting them on Facebook or social media because of that. You know? But you know, the body image place is all over the place. Yeah. We're talking about Facebook, yeah. but it's it's everywhere. But don't you think but social media just kind of... It's, it well, takes, yeah, it's because that's what's step. in front Level, of the young people yeah. now is that Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Vine, all these things. Hey, you know I do. <laughs> I have to. I got teenage daughters. But at the end of the day, the body image conversation, I think, comes from at home. Mm -hmm. And I, I, don't, I don't necessarily want to stay because we're talking about Facebook, but it starts at home. And I think if you take care of that, it will cover all of those social media uh, outlets that's portraying what the body image should look like. Right. Because me right now, I wouldn't even be endeared into anorexia on media. I want to see you know, the most popular fitness program, the most popular trainer right now and follow them what and their eating. work ethics and what they're eating. 
That's where that yeah, comes in handy, what they're eating. What they're eating. <laughs> you know what they say, yeah. if you want to look like somebody, you better eat like them. Yeah, because there's a lot of nutrition ways of eating. Like, you, people find, I didn't even know the whole thing of juicing. My sister started juicing. Did and you she are you juicing? on Facebook? No. <laughs> I'm not juicing yet, but. <laughs> but she is, so, and she found it through Instagram. So okay, good. well, find some of Anna's juicing tips online, and we'll be right back with more Everyway Woman. Stay tuned.